Hey guys, it's Dawn here, and today I want to talk about the Liat 6.5 um, body armor uh, with the chest protector. And to show you where I'm coming from, I'm wearing one of my um, Z Custom full leather suits for motorcycling. This is my race suit. This is the one I wore for racing, and I have another one for street. But um, I wanted to show you where I'm coming from because body armor and body protection and gear is very um, subjective. So if you're coming from wearing no gear at all and having no experience with crashes, you're going to you know, be in a totally different uh, place than someone that is very experienced in crashes, has felt it before, and knows what it means to not have the gear. Um, here's the back. And I can't bring my knee up close enough to camera for you to show my knees, but basically knees get trashed. Um, elbows and forearms get trashed. Uh, these are all over 100 miles an hour. Um, shoulder, these big gouges in the shoulder, because that's usually my first point of impact somewhere in the shoulder. That's the back of the shoulder, back, hips. Um, this is a race suit. It has like armor up the wazoo. It is fully protective. The leather in itself is protective. The stripes is um, my my thing when I was racing. My, my bike had stripes and I had stripes to match and my pocket bike had stripes too, but um, that's just the thing. But, um, the knee, I have, you know, great knee armor, great back protector and everything. And this is heavy. Um, uh, this I think is the most protective. Um, that was the whole point of getting this $1,400 custom leather suit. Uh, and then I have the, another 1400 one just for the street. Um, cause I didn't want one taking all of the crashes that I would ever do. Um, you can see some of the abrasions on the hip. Um, but, but anyways, basically everything gets, that gets hit. This doesn't have much in ways of, um, protection on the ribs though. And I, I broke my ribs all the time. So I, I've broken just about every major bone, uh, before, but it wasn't, it was just because, I mean, over a hundred miles an hour, you know, some impact is so still going to get through. You want the most amount of protection as possible because the most amount of armor is going to suck up some of that impact, but some of that impact is still going to hit your body. So it's going to reduce the damage. I've never had road rash because every bit of my skin was always covered. I have full gauntlet gloves, um, full face helmet, you know, the motorcycle boots um, and, all, and all that stuff. Only time I had road rash was one time when I was riding the pocket bike and I was like, eh, it's just a pocket bike. It's not a big deal. I didn't wear my gloves and I got a little road rash um, right there. And that was horrible. I thought I was going to die. So anyways, um, why this won't work <laughs> for EUCs, it's way too stiff. First of all, it's too much. It's all leather and I didn't go perforated. I went full blown. Um, I think there's some perforation on my street set. But for a race set, no perforation. So, you know, it's the strongest possible. Um, but there's no ventilation at all. This, I, I'm able to wear it all day at the track. But, um, you know, I usually take off the jacket part. It's a two-piece uh, or, or something like that. But it's, it's not meant to just... Uh, EUC, I see it more like casual, like hanging out, you know, group rides would be a lot of standing around, hanging out, talking, chilling and all that stuff. Um, I would just get way too hot in this. Um, there's no ventilation. That's the biggest thing. No perforation. It's going to get too hot and there's n very little mobility. This is about as high as I can lift my arms. Um, <laughs> it's very stiff. It's basically meant... It's not meant to be comfortable in anything other than on your motorcycle. And then it's going to kind of hold that shape for you. Um, but other, other than that, any, any little type of movement, it's really stiff and tight. The reason why you want tight and form fitting is because then the armor won't move at all. You know, as hard an impact as you hit, this armor is not going to budge. 
because it's so tight and form-fitting. It's, it's a second skin, it's a second armored skin on my body. So let me get out of this and I'm gonna show you this Liat 6.5 body armor that I've chosen to protect me for the EUC riding. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the Liat 6.5 body, uh, body protector and chest protector. The chest protector, you can buy that separately, but the body armor doesn't, uh, it's not available to buy separately. So if you want this, you kind of got to get the bow. Um, it comes with their CE level, this, the body protector comes with CE level one protection for your elbows and your shoulder. This is the shoulder pad. I don't know which is the front and back maybe like that i don't know but the shoulder pad has um has good coverage and the elbow pad is really nice so here's the elbow pad really nice it's pre-formed so it'll fit perfect it'll give you perfect lines inside the armor you got the forearm coverage over there um so all of that is great um the only thing is that it is ce level one and i wanted a little bit more protection so i'm going to go with sas tech sas tech came out with their phantom armor and so i took out all of the armor in my body protector and i replaced it with the sas tech phantom and this is the sas tech phantom and it is amazing it is super thin it is malleable it's completely foldable it's soft when it molds to your body it's um it's really soft it moves like magic and it's CE level two. The only bad thing is that the little sleeves for the armor was not made for this. And this just has a very generic shape. So it doesn't fit into, it doesn't fit in this as perfectly as their own armor does, you know, cause their, old, their own armor is already, I mean, it's custom fit to their body protector, but I can get it to fit and so I'm just going to do this for now and see how it goes because this by replacing all this with phantom uh Sastex phantom armor I now have CE level 2 protection instead which is double the protection roughly all right so this is a breathable stretchy mesh um I bought a size small I took off my watch and I'm going to really hug the this mesh over here because if I don't, my fingers are going to slip into the, um, I'm trying to lighten this up for you. It's going to slip into the, the armor pockets. So I'm just going to very gently, it, my hands come out of these holes and then I got to redirect them in here, but not have them go into the armor holes. You see, this is a hole here and there's a hole in my armpit too. So I just want to first get all of this on and then I'm going to, oh, really nice zipper. You see a zipper? Really nice zipper. The quality on this Liat body armor, body suit, body protector is actually really, really, really good. Um, there was none of this that I felt was cheap or subpar in any way. I'm making it a little wonky by changing out to this phantom armor that doesn't fit perfectly. Um, so the next thing I do now, I can go back and make sure that the elbow and my shoulder pads are all in the right place. And I also check the edges of the armor, make sure that all the edges of the armor are extended out properly and not folded in onto itself. The Sastec armor, it is so pliable that sometimes it'll actually fold onto itself and I have to open it back up again. Make, and I'm just doing that, checking all the edges. It doesn't take that long. Um, so I'm wearing red underneath or burgundy so that you can see the difference between the um, where the armor is and where my shirt is. So this is an open hole quite big open hole there. I have nothing here. My armor extends all the way up here and all the way back there, coming down here. That is all level two armor. This is some random little padding that they have on the bicep area. And then this is empty. 
Then here starts my elbow guard. You can see this ruffling. That ruffling is just a Sastec because it's not fitted for this. But um, you won't have that with their armor. But I have coverage all the way to here. So my protection ends here, but that's where my full gauntlet gloves. So if you wear short gloves, your short glove protection will probably start here. So you have this much that is not protected. Um, and that matters. With a gauntlet, then this will be covered a lot more. Especially, um, uh, so when I fall, I tend to tuck and roll. But there's not much rolling going on because you don't get as much slide with the EUC crash. It's a lot more of a splat and maybe a little bit of a slide. But there's a lot more splatting going on. So, um, but anyways, um, I tend to curl up and I use my forearms to block. And uh, that's why my forearms always get hit. My shoulders always get hit. And so I want to make sure that... Uh, and you saw the big gouges in the shoulder of my leather, so that's where I'm looking for protection. And this is all, um, that's all good there. All right, so that's this part. I'll show you this. It's like kidney protection. Oh, that's interesting. I see something that has failed already. This is not supposed to be open. This Velcro piece, oh, look at that, that is a fail. But um, I think I can fix that. Might be hard to sew through that hard rubber without an industrial machine, but I do have uh, vintage machines that are really strong. So it's it's just that they sewed so, so close to that line that this opened up. Not too big a deal, glue might even, I don't know. I'll have to fix that. All right, so there's that. And right after I was just talking about how how good the quality was on this Liat. Okay, so here's the chest protector part. Now the chest protector part is very impressive. This is all CE level two already. The inside is this very thick rubber and foam thing. It's held in by these little tiny um, Allen screws and they do supply an Allen, this little Allen wrench with it. The chest part, hard plastic on the outside. This part comes out for your neck brace. These tabs hook onto your neck brace. And for the back protector, this comes out for your neck brace as well. So fully integrates with your neck brace. And you have side protection. You've got the hard here. You have this, which is slightly adjustable. And then you have, this is like, I don't know, it's like a rubber piece. Okay. So, very, very thick. I was not expecting for this to be so thick and, and beefy, beefy, beefy uh, on the chest. So this is also this rubber thing, and then you got the hard. And those are the hooks that you hook on. All right, so we'll put this piece on. And you can adjust this top part to be lower or higher. Um, this, this little tab is for your neck brace. And now I got little wings for the wings going to hug this around grab a hold of this this you got to be careful it's a really strong elastic you know me an elastic it hurt now with a lot of the Liat products you can hook it on like that it seems like it's on but hear that click got to make sure that that clicks and that goes for their knee brace too so you hook this on See how this ends right where this begins? And this is a nice thick over here. So that's nice. Come over here. And there, clicked. All right. So the good thing about it is I have rib protection. 
I have side protection. And I have back protection. The back protection ends here, so I don't have any protection down here, but I did get the Liat um, impact shorts, so I'm hoping, I, I'll get that in in a few days, I'm hoping that the impact shorts are going to cover what this is not covering. They should have made these so that they fit together very nicely. Um, to figure out it's so hard for women to find good um, protection. And even this, they say it's um, unisex, but it's, it's a man's fit. Okay, so to figure out where it should sit, I, I'm just checking to make sure that it's covering where I want it to cover. I don't know, should this be lower? And then I check, you see this gap right there? So that's where I'm going to tighten it and just close that gap. So that's how I'm doing it for, for the fit. Now I can't tell if I did this straight. So you see the gap? Close the gap. All right. So that's how I'm figuring out that. But I am... <laughs> I've been telling everyone I'm 124 pounds when actually I'm 135 pounds. I guess I've gained weight and I didn't know. I just weighed myself recently. So I'm 135 pounds. I'm 5'4 and a half, maybe. Um, taller in my boots. It's comfortable. There is no uh, collarbone protection. Um, and my collarbone actually kind of there's a little bit of padding under here, but I don't know, it kind of irks me a little bit, uh, but I have sensory issues. I have major sensory issues. So that kind of irks me a little bit. Um, then when I was riding in this, I found that this was tending to want, wanting to ride up. I think, I don't know. I think because of my, my waist and my hips, and if I bend, I think it's like shoving it up. So I kept finding that it would go up and then I get this gap again and I'd have to like pull it back down to like stay, stay down there. But then I'd like go do something and then it kind of see, see that gap come back up. So I don't know. Um, the fit is fine. Protection wise, do I feel like this is totally going to protect me? Yes. Um, I'm fine with that, but I do wish that they would make something for a female. So that's what it looks like on a girl. Great protection. Um, I have a little binding across here. You can see there, but that's what you get when you wear a man's clothes. All right, so there you go. I was hoping that this video would help the ladies, help the guys too, give you a little bit more detail on how this looks like on a person because, I don't know, I did not expect this and it's heavy. This is like substantial, but I love this side protection because I have, I have fallen before um, and especially, okay, one of the dangers about the EUC crashes is that you're on the street, mostly. Uh, well, if you're in the trails, you're going to hit stuff like rocks and boulders, trees and stuff like that, right? Um, tree roots, lots of rocks. If you're, um, if you're on the street, you got stop signs, poles, um, cars, pedestrians, you know, buildings, just all these things that you can hit. Um, my experience, uh, all of my major crashes, high speed crash, definitely my high speed crashes, most of my major crashes were on the track. So the track is perfect place to crash. You've got tires, 
uh, protecting any kind of light poles or stuff. You have lots of open space to slide and the sliding is um, perfect. That is what you want. You want to slide and dissipate all that energy into this harmless slide that's just going to scuff up your gear, but it doesn't hurt at all. Um, <laughs> but you see crashes, uh, your reaction, the, the time of the accident is a lot shorter and then there's a lot more impact yes there's a lot lot less mass involved uh therefore acceleration velocity momentum um and speed a lot less speed but there's a lot more obstacles and immediate hit impact so i don't know it's a toss-up i almost think that i want more protection um with the euc than i than i was doing on the track and stuff um but yeah but of course this isn't too much compared to full leathers and oh it's very ventilated it's very breathy um i have full oh i should have shown that i have full pretty much uh full useful mobility and stuff it's pretty easy to take on and uh, i mean put on and take off and then I just put it onto a nice heavy duty. This hanger is wood, and then it has um, little uh, silicone grippies on it, and that is perfect for hanging this up. And that'll just hang right in my, with all my other gear. So there you go. Thanks for joining me. Hope that helped and ride safe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.